Good evening and welcome to Back to School Night at Wakefield High School, our first in-person back to school night since 2019. The Wakefield staff and I are pleased to welcome you here this evening so that you can learn about the instructional program and the curriculum and the courses your students will be taking this year. Our first three weeks back have gone smoothly and students seem to be very happy to be back. A comment that I've heard uh, from many students and staff is that this year seems much more normal than last year. One of our priorities this year is rebuilding um, our school climate. The past two years of virtual instruction and hybrid instruction and our growing student enrollment have taken a toll on our community. Wakefield has long prided itself on creating a safe, warm, accepting, and welcoming environment for all students in a celebration of our incredible diversity. We began this work back in August by organizing our new student orientations around the, our five R's, relationships, rigor, responsibility, resiliency, and results. These sessions and programs on the first morning of school were led by many of our upper class students who shared what it means to be a warrior. Our student leaders are also making a concerted effort to support their classmates through attending concerts, sporting events, and creating student-led mentoring programs and encouraging participation in extracurricular activities. Last week, we held our activities fair during the lunch period so that students could see the many options that are available to them. I would ask parents to encourage your students to be involved in a club, an activity, or a team. Evidence shows that participation in extracurriculars increases students' academic achievement and supports their mental health. This evening, you will hear from your students' teachers about what they will be learning this year and what supports will be available in the class to help students be successful. I also want to make you aware that we also have many academic and mental health supports available school-wide here at Wakefield, including our daily Warriors period, lunch labs and after-school tutoring, and Saturday Academy. If your student begins to struggle academically or mental health-wise, please encourage them to reach out to their teachers, their counselor, and to access these supports. In addition to the supports available here at Wakefield, APS is offering all secondary students this year 24-7 access to virtual online tutoring through a company called Paper. Many teachers have already walked their classes through how to use the service, and you can find information about the program on the APS website. Even for parents who've already had a student go through high school, there is a lot of information that we share and important decisions that need to be made. To help families with this throughout the year, our counseling department will host monthly evening programs for parents. These informative sessions are a great opportunity to learn about the issues related to teenagers, high school life, and planning for post-graduation. The dates and topics for the presentations will be available on the Wakefield webpage. In light of the recent tragic events in schools across the country, including the recent school shooting in Robb Elementary School in Texas, I do want to speak to school safety here at Wakefield. First, I want to share with you what I shared with students at our back to school class meetings. School safety takes all of us. It means not opening doors to individuals who are outside. It means reporting anything that looks suspicious. And it means telling a school official of any threats that someone makes against a school. We have also worked with the APS Central Office and the Emergency Management Office for APS to make upgrades to our safety plan. The one upgrade most visible to parents is the renovation of the main office suite. During the school day, all parents and visitors coming into the school must use entrance A1 by the swimming pool. There is now a doorway leading from the lobby into the new reception area. Anyone needing to leave the main office area will need to provide identification and get a visitor's badge. We have relocated the attendance office to the main office suite so that parents coming to pick up a student will not have to leave the suite. What used to be the main door is now only for students and staff. Less visible to parents is a transition away from a campus safety team to school safety coordinators. The coordinators have gone through a training program and are in uniforms of khaki pants and shirts that say safety. The members of the team make frequent rotations around the building and assist the administrative team with our various safety and emergency drills. We are all looking for forward to a great year here at Wakefield and welcome the opportunity to partner with you to help all students succeed. One means by which staff and families collaborate is with the PTSA, and it is now my pleasure to introduce Ms. Judith Davis, the president of Wakefield's PTSA this year. Hello, my name is Judith Davis. I am the PTSA president and very excited about this school year as I was last year at this time. We accomplished a lot because we had planned a lot. This year, we have to set the bar higher. Last year, we focused on adding value to our teachers, the capital T on the PTSA, 
This year, we're going to focus on the capital S, the students, student involvement, students empowerment. We have a lot of work ahead of us, and we are very excited to have you be part of it. Please continue to do one more for Wakefield. Up next is Marty Curry, our Boosters president. Hello, and welcome to Back to School Night. My name is Marty Curry, and I am the Wakefield High School Booster Club president. The WHS Booster Club is a nonprofit organization run by parent volunteers, and we have two primary objectives. One is to promote school spirit, Go Warriors, and two is to provide supplemental funding for our athletics teams and student clubs. We do this in an effort to enhance our students' high school experience. We want them to learn, grow, have fun, be engaged, and take advantage of any and every opportunity to have a positive and productive high school experience. Throughout the year, we run our concession stands. The boosters and other parent volunteers will sell snacks during majority of our home games to raise funds for the student athletic programs and the student clubs to help them take care of fees for competitions or trainings, and then also provide funding for coaches for professional development, as well as help them to fund their senior nights and a host of other things. We also sell spirit wear throughout the year to raise funds. Our spirit wear is sold in the school store on Tuesdays and Thursdays during all three lunches, and it can also be purchased online. Throughout the school year, we will also host other fundraising events like restaurant nights, movie nights, the holiday shop, and the spring sidewalk sale. We also accept in-kind donations. Because we are a 501c3 nonprofit organization, you can go to the Booster Club website and make a tax-deductible donation in support of our students here at Wakefield. Before I go, I must share that the more volunteers we have, the more successful we can be in supporting our students. We encourage you to connect with us to learn about our volunteer opportunities. We have so much fun working together, building connections with each other and the community in support of our students here at Wakefield. And now back to Dr. Wilmore. Again, thank you for coming out this evening, and we now begin our back-to-school night.